Hey you guys, welcome to another tutorial on Minecraft. Um, I know I've not made a, a video um, because I've had problems with my software, but uh, I promise you I will get one out on Friday. But for now, I'm going to show you guys how to place your own music on the Minecraft records. I know you can put your MP3, I mean your the min, uh, you know Windows Music Media Player, or whatever, in the background. But this is just you know for the fun of it. So. If you want to follow along, go ahead. So I will provide all the links, uh, uh, the links for everything you need, which I'll just um, uh, figure out right here. So you know, the first thing you're gonna need to do is go ahead and choose two songs that you're gonna place on the records. So I'm gonna go on. Uh, let's see. So the thing is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and convert the um, your. Uh, we're gonna go on the online dash convert.com I'll include a link what you're gonna do is go ahead and uh, you should know where your music's placed at it should be somewhere around there and we're gonna upload a song so I'm gonna upload this song which is on my desktop depending on where yours is at you can just find it and you're gonna upload it and what we're gonna do is not change any of this stuff just click normalize audio and convert the file now the reason we're doing this is because the files that are in Minecraft are, of course, in .ogg files. Well, not of course, but you know, they're in .ogg files. So this is why we're converting the MP3 or the whatever kind of file it is in into the .ogg files. That way, when we play Minecraft, it will be able to read it and we'll, you know, figure it out. So just do this. I'm only doing it for one of these uh, songs, so you can go ahead and do it for the second song. This is just to show you how you do it uh, for one of the songs. So you're going to need to do this twice in total. And it's actually pretty fast in conversion. It's not that hard at all for the, you know, for it to do it. So, and then you're going to save it. You can save it on your uh, desktop or anywhere. I'm going to save it on my desktop for simplicity. And see as it says right here, I'm just going to save the file. And we're going to go ahead and save it right to my desktop. And uh, so for this, we're going to need three things in total. We're going to need to have one, the uh, this converter, which is easily on online. Two, a sound mod enabler, which I'll also provide the link. And three, WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR, go ahead and download that, install it. And I suggest you keep it on your computer. WinRAR is pretty helpful, especially when a lot of things come in WinRAR. Like, uh, I mean, when you can open a lot of things with Win WinRAR. Um, but, uh, you know, you can install it just for one occasion and uninstall it if you don't want it. And so, yes. And uh, now we'll, um, this is just going to save and we'll move on to the next part right now. All right, guys, we're back, and um, in this one, uh, this is this should be the uh, file that you downloaded. This is a zip file, easily extracted. Just press um, extract all, and your little wizard should do it. And um, just press next. All right, and now it will show us this stuff. This is the actual um, program. So here you go. Now what you're gonna need to do is go ahead and uh, go to your Windows. Go to run, and uh, maybe a lot of you guys will be familiar with this. Percent app data percent sign again, and just press OK. Then we'll go into our dot Minecraft folder, and then we'll go into our bin. And the next thing we're going to need to do is open up the Minecraft with our, our WinRAR that you have downloaded and installed. And now we open up our Sun Mod Enabler. Now all you need to do is go ahead and grab this class file, drag it in there, and drop it in there. Just press OK, and then. Next thing you're gonna do is delete the meta. Wait, hold up. Yeah, delete the meta dash inf. So just gonna go ahead and uh, oops. You can just press delete. No, 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 not that. Uh, delete, and I'll say yes, and then you can delete it completely. And um, then after that, you're gonna go ahead and go back out, back up a level, and uh, you're gonna find resources. This is uh, resources. Go into streaming, and now. We have these files, the 13.mus, the 13.ogg, and this cat.mus, and the cat.ogg. Now, to replace these, um, we're just going to, here's one of my songs. I've already replaced the other one. So all you got to do is control C, copy it. I would copy it in case you don't do this part right. Paste it in here. And now it's in an ogg file because that's what we did. So we're going to rename it. In this case, I'm going to rename it as 13.ogg. Whoops, but there's a problem. Let me not do that. First, delete the 13.ogg and the 13.mus. So we'll go ahead and delete both of them. And we're going to rename this one, which is just one of your songs, 13.ogg. Now remember, you got to do this twice for um, for both of your songs. I already did one of the songs. I'm just doing this last song. So then once you got 13.ogg, paste another one in there and rename it 
13.mus and now oh, oh, okay refresh this now it's back over here but of course it's filled up with our own music and now uh, once you're done with the second one you, you gotta replace these two again just replace those two only so in total you're gonna replace this one this one this one and this one which is four and now we will now move on to the next part the next thing we need to do is go to go back one level up and we will see this area here um, go ahead and go back to your Salmon enabler now what we're gonna do is drag this do not update text uh, document right in there now, now I wanna uh, tell you here this does not mean that when you when the new update comes up that this stuff will not be updated when the new update comes up like made uh, Minecraft beta 1.5 or whatever um, you will have to redo this whole process to get your music back onto your uh, discs so this is just you know for now and so this do not update means that this part these sections will not be updated and replaced when you replay Minecraft because originally if you try replacing the streaming if you try replacing these with uh, with your um, without putting this mod and without putting this do not update then it will actually play the regular cat song and the 13 song so that's why you need to do it and also when we deleted that meta.inf file trust me you have to delete that otherwise the mods do not work if you want to try it go ahead and it does not mess up your minecraft I'm telling you and uh, yeah so now the next thing we're gonna need to do which is the last thing is uh, go ahead and you're done you, you've uh, installed the mod um, you should be able to now go on to minecraft and play your own music um, from the records and I will show you demonstrate this uh, to you right now as you guys can see I am in my little world again and uh, here is the song so here's my record I'm just gonna put it in there and oh whoops wrong <laughs> wrong disc no I'm just messing no I don't listen to Bieber now here you go this one, sometimes it doesn't work so you just have to put it in once or twice like there but uh, when it works, it will work. There you go. And as you can see, that is uh, the song I chose, Lamb of God, Made of Res. Now, as you can see, if I move out, this song will become a little less faint. I mean, will become faint because obviously it's one of the records. To prove to you that it is not just music playing in the background. Which is kind of cool, so that's how you. Uh, place music on the records and replace it and uh, thanks for watching guys uh, comment like subscribe you guys got any questions post them down below if you guys thought this was a little too complicated go ahead just ask questions down below and I'll answer them and uh, that's pretty much it uh, thanks for watching